wanted to talk with you about some pretty nice plants. This is a reed stem epidendrum uh, O'Brienum. It's pretty typical reed stem. It's very tall and and uh, has a tendency to flop over. But what's really cool about it is that unlike um, most orchids, it can it can easily grow from seeds. Here's some seed pods that the um, hummingbirds made. And you can compare the seeds. Here are the, the O'Brien seeds. And here are typical um, typical orchid seeds. This is a Encyclia seeds. They're a lot, lot, lot smaller than the um, epidendrum seeds. Yeah. So last fall I sowed some some epidendrum seeds, and here you can see them. I just sowed them on on moss and in a Ziploc bag, and they germinate pretty quickly. So, so last fall I also picked up this um, this orchid from Fred Clark at Sunset Valley Orchid down at um down in Vista, and this is a cross between um, Epidendrum O'Brien. And a and a typical Catalea type type orchid. This has um, O'Brien as the as the father. So I like it um, a lot better than O'Brien. Um, and it'd be really, really, really cool if it could easily grow from seed. I'm sure it would, uh, I'm sure it would make a, it'll make a much better epiphyte to grow on trees. Here's a typical hybrid, um, type white reed stem epidendrum. It's also pretty tall and tall and has a tendency to fall over. Um, next we can talk about some aloes. This is a um, a cross I received from the Huntington. It's believed to be aloe distance um, crossed with aloe banesii. Which is a pretty cool cross. Uh, next to it is some sort of, I think it's a dichotoma or ramoisima hybrid. I'm not sure. It's really nice, but it's such a slow grower. It's a, it's pretty much large enough to attach um small orchids to. And then next to it is a cross that I made, or maybe the hummingbirds made. Um, it's a cross between aloe tenure and um, and uh, some tree aloe. I'm not sure. It could be arborescence or thraskii or vaombe, tongansis, maybe even Hercules. But Tenure is definitely, um, Aloe Tenure is definitely the mother. Here you can see Aloe Tenure on the right and the uh, hybrid on the left. And, uh, the Tenure, the hybrid stem is, 
it's pretty substantial I mean compared to tenure problem is is that so far it it flops over makes a lot of makes a lot of pups but they flop over hopefully with as they get older they'll thicken up but we'll see here's a here's a tenure stem it's pretty slender but it's upright Over here is a, a ficus um, rubiginosa forabana I made a while I made a while back or actually just last year I started attaching epiphytes to it. Here you can see uh, this is Sophronitis cernua just sort of finishing blooming. The hummingbirds already um visited it yeah. so there you go Please let me know if you have any uh, questions. Hopefully we can sort of pool our, our resources and, and um, make some really good progress coming up with uh, some new and better varieties of orchids and aloes. Take it easy.